morning European traders choppy choppy day yesterday wow uh, let's uh, let's have a look and see what FX did yesterday and is going to do today let's grab that dollar yen chart we were correct uh, being short dollar yen through the figure traded all the way down to 47 as the stock market dropped spoos went to 25.56 and it looked like it was sort of all on there for a second gold was above 12 12.89 uh, but then we had a massive reversal that was quite painful I have to say um, traded all the way back up to 20 which interestingly enough is the moving average on this 200 200 moving average on the 240 minute bar we kinda like this as a as an indicator on the moving averages didn't quite get back through that so we're still in bearish mode but barely uh, and to be fair your privateer FX we have no idea where dollar yen's going today and really help anyone um, but uh, I would just let it settle see where where it wants to go and if we can get some setups going forward sterling also had quite a quite a day look at this bar on the 240s that was really silly all driven by the euro sterling uh, derivatives now we've settled here 131 76 we've got retail sales out of the UK today uh, this above this becomes interesting if we can now break above these 13 highs or these 30 highs I'm not suggesting longs here because it's equally as interesting if we can now get below these these lows here 131.30 which was the breakout so we're just kind of in the middle here if you look on the hourlies you see you've got a little contraction in volatility on an hourly basis this is going to go somewhere but again we don't know where so just be patient the price will tell us let's look at some tradable uh, setups all of you listeners out there I know you love the CAC. French stocks, baby. This looks pretty interesting. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down days. And, you know, perfect candlestick for a reversal there. This doji. It's a long tail. 53.13 is your careful tentative longs with the old French stocks of course DAX looks pretty much the same uh, DAX also has a bit of a gap to fill there so that's that could be exciting uh, DAX is very difficult to trade I'd, I'd, I'd be careful with the DAX uh, if you're not used to it probably stay away from it uh, tricky tricky price action there bigger picture DXY we'll just throw this quickly looks like it has turned also same chart as a euro chart so we have this big long tail close at the top so DXY maybe back higher 93 93 but this is all based on whether this tax bill is gonna pass uh, and of note, Republican Senator Ron Johnson. He's a senator who said, I am not going to support the Senate tax plan. This throws a bit of a wrench for the Republicans in the Senate. Just got to keep following that, and it's pretty simple. If the tax, if the tax bill does not pass by Christmas, the dollar is going to get whacked. If it does pass, the dollar is going to go much higher. So let's be nimble. Quickly, you can see on the dailies, as always, the euro dollar chart is 
sort of the upside down DXY chart. Uh, we've already made a new low, so I don't think there's much point in getting long euros here. Uh, the next place to get long really only exists if we get above that 118.60. But in general, FX, after a trendy couple of days, we are going to be very patient today, very, very careful. Maybe trade some CAC or DAX if that's your thing. Uh, but, but be patient on the FX. Loads of central bankers are speaking today. We got Carney, 3 p.m. Central European time. We've got ECB's Mersh. We got all kinds of other guys speaking. We've got Fed, Cleveland Fed, Master, ECB, Constancio, Kaplan from the Dallas Fed. Lots of speakers today. Careful. But the main uh, main deal this morning is UK retail sales. All right. Good luck, guys. Talk to you soon.